For Victoria, the dream is over. Mm. I'm gonna miss Vicky. Stay strong. For another, it's just begun. I'm a swimwear model from Australia. <laughs> I quite like shaved heads and tattoos. <laughs> I have been a woman who gets my man. I've never got on me. Oh, screw I'm sick of it. And an old feud turns ugly. You are the bitches. Paul's just backstabbing two faced shitster in Little Wankel. Cheers, Sophie. She's just up her own arse. Who bitches about things? You are right now! And you don't! He just got aggressive with me. I don't want to be near him. He's done nothing at all apart from wind me up. Are you stupid or something? She's just a bit loopy, man. He's a fing nasty piece of work. Our celebrities are waking up with a new face in the resort. Yes, you evicted Victoria on Friday night, but no sooner had she packed her designer bags than her newest Islander was unpacking hers. Yes, I said it. Hers. She's a girlfriend. She's a hottie. Get Can't in there. Down, Patty. Patty's happy. Yes, she is a girl, which can only mean two things. The boys greeting her with open arms. And the girls greeting her with open hostility. Mm. But first, the dramatic and, and tearful moment, Fern, when, when Liddy B heard she was heading home. Leaving Love Island tonight is... Victoria. Chris, congratulations. Have a seat, Victoria. I'm afraid we have to say goodbye. Come here. Mm. It's not a nice thing seeing Vicky leave. Um, you know, I'm going to miss Vicky. Um, and I was just looking in her eyes when, when it was called upon her to take that walk, um, you know, that was painful because uh, she's an amazing woman, she's a beautiful woman, and I'm going to miss her, you know. Mm. Hey, just go, like, Stay strong. Stay strong. Come on, you stay strong. Mm. Oh. 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 What's up, this stupid f***ing game show. Mm. I'll see you in L.A., right? I'm going to see you in L.A.? Yeah, you know. Give me a hug. I do feel like I've lost, um, A, a very good friend, and B, what seemed to be sort of making its way towards, you know, a potential girlfriend there. Come on. That's just horrible. Mm. Mm. Oh, man. That was shaking like a leaf. You're right, okay. you take a moment? Take a moment, yeah? Yeah, let me just... Thanks, bro. This is going to be interesting dynamics for change. Because <sighs> originally... We all know how. Oh, I heard there'd be the three of them warring over on hell. That is true. The bleeding motley crew down there. <laughs> the naughty boys. You ready for that, Colleen? What is that? The motley crew the down there, that's you. Three. No. Especially if there's a All three of them. Watch the three of them, like, testosterone flying. Who can outdo who? Mm -hmm. Finding out that you are the one staying and that your partner's going, you know, how do you deal with that? May I? <laughs> oh, oh, this is like, oh, it's like that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm out. Yeah, one hour. Okay. <laughs> it didn't take Chris long to get. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <Huh? sorry>. what? <laughs> What's your DJ name? DJ Colin Shannon. My name. I like. I do have a um. What do you call it? The. What do you call this? Name? A pseudonym. What is that? Like a, a, a name over a name. Mm, yeah, kind of. 
Okay, you. okay, so just so we're all clear here, folks, 9.17 yeah. a.m., yes. Chris almost in tears as he kisses goodbye to his potential girlfriend, Victoria. 9.57 a.m., Chris climbs into bed with Collie. Now, I I'm just happy he didn't rush into anything there for you know? I mean? But to be fair, yeah. he did wait the full 40 minutes. Surely he, that's he, a mark of a gent. He did, he did, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, it's fair to say that since Paul arrived, Sophie's not had a good word to say about him, really. But uh, after Victoria's eviction, Sophie decided it was time to bury the hatchet in him. Oops, the hatchet with him. <laughs> I just wanted to say, yesterday yeah. I was in the beach hut. Yes. When, about three days ago, when they started asking us about evictions, and I have to just be honest about this, I wasn't going to tell you just in case you got evicted out today, I didn't think you needed to know. I put you up as my, my choice. In the last couple of days, you've been making such an effort, and you've really impressed me, and I just wanted to tell you that, and I'm really glad you stayed. Oh, cool, thanks. But I, and it carry on this way, I won't be putting you up again. <laughs> but I just I had to be honest. Yeah, it's and I hope. It's I hope you understand what my reasons. I don't, but... Well, no. you're like a different person when you don't drink, and I love being around you when you don't drink. Cool. And wow. I think the British public saw that too. You're making an effort, and you kind of... You know, it's good. It's good. They're seeing the real you. You know, it'd be great for you walking out of here and proving everybody wrong. That's how I always like hey, to Hey, I've got to tell you, though, that... I don't have to prove too many people wrong. No, I've well, been prove doing yourself. very well in the prove last yourself. year. So please stop making out that I was some f***ing vile person. All right. All right, because you're a little yeah, bit apologize. wrong on that shit. Okay. So you can't keep saying this stuff because it's making me I'm feel like I was some f***ing animal before. All right, deal. I won't. You know I'm not I mean? going to anymore. OK, thanks. Right, I'm going to leave you boys to your male bonding. Cool. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> It's just a way, man. I want oh, to take a bollocks, man. Where the f does she think she is sometimes, man? It's just her way. She right? doesn't she know f all about me, man. And it f me off when she mm. starts. And everyone will change their mind about you. What? It's like, don't f make out I was some f horrible. Like, yeah. That's harsh. Yeah, it, it, it does come across very condescending. Oh, it's yeah, so very hurtful, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> yeah. Got to stop. Get, she's got yeah. to change We've the told record. Her now. She's mm. told her now. You know, change that f***ing record. It's like, hold on a minute. Will you listen to someone for once? Mm. Another weekend. There's not, not even any need for her to come over and tell you that, really, was there? Oh. No. Nah, not at all. I don't get her sometimes, all right? I think that went okay, didn't it? Ah, <laughs> great! Uh, so, good news there for Paul. This year, the British public are getting to see the real Paul. And bad news for Sophie, as this year, the British public are getting to see the real Sophie. Uh, yeah, at least said it to his face, though, you know? Something uh, that yeah. celebrities don't do very often. Mm. Hmm. But yesterday, they got the chance to do it the way they do best. Behind each other's backs. <sighs> Being labelled. Yeah. You know what? I've never liked being labelled ever. Yeah. And this I particularly dislike. Today we had to play a game uh, where we had to stick a word onto the back of uh, the girls, and the girls had to do it to us, which explains one of our what, traits. Yeah, okay. Laziest. Laziest. Uh, Bianca. Yeah. <laughs> well done, Leo. <laughs> <laughs> Cheese? What is it? What is it? Cheese? Cheese? Yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> do, do what you know is right. Unfortunately, Sophie got like all the not very nice things. Oh, now what? If this ruins my top, I'll be fuming. No, we didn't even have to think about it. it. It was like, yeah, you are the moodiest. Yeah, you are the bossiest. Yeah, you are the bitchiest. I don't like I'm the sorry, fact that you're, that you're laughing. Back. I'll turn around. Turn around, take the lemonades from you. Okay, the first one, what does it read, say? <laughs> that is so right. <laughs> no, I totally agree with that. that I totally agree with that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Kitten, would you like to remove the lemonade from I... your bottom? Please read out your lemonade. Sexiest. Yeah! yeah. yeah. I'm blushing. Huh? Kelly? Yes! 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 Now, could Sophie please... Well, what have I done to deserve this? Because I know they're all bad. Could you please... Oh, come on now. Is it all honest? Remove one of the lemons. Really? The moodiest. moodiest. According to Shane, they're all honest. Right, the moodiest. Um, that's interesting. Because I'm actually the only one who's actually in a good mood in the morning. Bossiest, definitely. Well, someone has to be. <laughs> Bitchiest, definitely. With you lot, I have to be. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Is it, can I actually not get insulted for one week? Uh, at least I'll be nicer. Oh, we just missing. Yeah. You don't worry. You know what? I'm sick of being the f 
Grant's little. Come on. Hey. Okay. Hey. No, I've got the well, I don't know. Come here, come here, come here. Come here. Come here. Okay. It's not serious. It's just <laughs> a yeah. Sorry, okay? It wasn't meant. Right, it wasn't. Well, can, you, can I talk to you, please? Uh, it wasn't meant in in any malice or anything like that. It was right. just. You heard it the way we were messing around. Come on, please. It's fine. It's cool. At least I'll be fair. Right then, boys. Fine enough. Okay, so I think Paul's quite bitchy. Hey. Okay. Mm. Don't you? Well, he shits her between Liam and, Br and Bianca. That's bitchy. Strongest. I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. I'd I'd say, I'd say, I'd say, I'd say, I'd say, Shane. Shane is definitely these two. Shane's, yeah. Shane's definitely I'll go up. You do that one. What is Chris going to say? Look, whatever, that's a horrible oh, one. It's very true. Cheers, Sophie. What? OK, Chris, do you want to turn around? I'll turn around. Cleverest. You pretty oh, good, little clever. Ever. You gave it to me. Yeah. Debatable, debatable. Wow. <laughs> Two of my best attributes. attributes. No, 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 Paul, you're yeah. yeah. out. Paul, for God's sake, I dealt with it. What, this is just your decision, no, no one else's? No, it's not. Bitchiest <laughs> is because you bitch about things, not because you're bitchy. Wait, is this... Is this <laughs> Is this everyone else's decision no, or just Sophie? Sophie? No, what? Is this just Sophie, yeah? Paul, you is this just Sophie or is this all for you? you? I dealt with it. No, I'm asking you. Is you it bitch about proof. things. Who right bitches? Now? Who bitches about things? Oh, you are right now. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm asking you if it's a unison decision. <laughs> Look, bitch, get back in life. Movies. Are you moving out? They did. They did. And it wasn't that you're bitchy, it's because you bitch about things. It's and you different. don't! I got a um, moodiest and bitchiest. Uh, bitchiest just right at the end because Sophie decided to put that on as well. And I thought it was just a bit like all Sophie's decision. Um, so I just, I wasn't very happy about it. The guy slags people off. He's shit stirred between Leo and Bianca. He's lied his ass off. And then he just got aggressive with me, and you don't think that's not bitchy, then I don't know what is. He's a nasty piece of work when he doesn't get his own way and it's not all happy families. I don't really like her way sometimes. There's a lot that she needs to... She needs to realise how she is sometimes. I actually said, well, I've seen another side of him, I really like it. Today, he just blew it with me. Well, there you go. Getting that's that cool. aggressive is just like, are you stupid or something? Paul's just backstabbing, two-faced, self-centred, bloody shit stirring little wanker when he wants to be. And on top of it, he's an aggressive one, too. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. That's all right. I'm so no, sorry. It's cool, babe. It's fine. Thank you for apologising. First thing I did was gave her a hug and said sorry. And she just was really cold. She's, she's just a bit loopy, man. She really is just a bit loopy. I don't want to be near him, to be honest. She's done nothing at all apart from wind me up, you know? And talking about it winds me up. She's just, just up her own arse, man. I just went to apologise, didn't I? Sorry, that's for what? For before's game. Exactly. Apologise for what? Good one, Lee. Apologise for f***ing what? Coming up, is Bunny Girl Colleen losing her fan club? Who wants to look like a punk and get played? No one. And there's a new girl in town. You've got a new friend to play with. <laughs> Welcome back, my friends, to Love Island, where following Victoria's departure, Colleen has become the object of a brand new sport in the resort, pro-celebrity bunny chasing. Oh, it's very exciting. It is. But if living in the Playboy Mansion teaches a girl one thing, it's how to keep horny men at arm's length. Stay and away. Stay away and keep your fingers away from my cookies. <sighs> Give us this to that girl. Good night. Do you make a girl? Go have a cookie. Oh, what are we talking about? The snuggle off here again? You should have cookies. I'm tired. Oh, well, I know, I know when I go and eat a mother cookie. <laughs> mm. Huh? That 
that's it. I'll not try for another snuggle again. No? No. That's it now. Mm. You've ruined your chances. So what, you've tried to cuddle when she's giving it night? Past two nights she were all over me, legs all over me. Cuddling. And then what, tonight? No. And I went in for a cuddle and it was, uh, I'm tired. I'm not going to lower myself to try and be with someone who is giving to my friends the eye, do you know what I mean? The past couple of days, we, we've got along really well and we've been cuddling and whatnot in bed and it's been as soon as Chris is back on the scene or, you know, now Paul's showing a lot of interest, it's like, oh, hang on, I'll, 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 play, I'll play all three off each other and that's not really my way, do you know what I mean? I mean I do really like Colleen, I think she's a lovely girl. Yeah. She's... But I don't like the way she plays all off each other. Mm. I guess if you, you know, if you do that, it's like you, you end up with nothing. We will end up with one of us. I don't know, though. I'll tell you what, it won't be me. When she said to me yesterday, she was like, yo, you know, I've got a crush on you. I mean, what did she say, though? She, did she fancy you? Of course she did. She said she liked Chris, they've been flirting away. She's never said anything like that with me, but she's just given me the eye, dude. So, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of like, stop fucking around, sweetheart, you know, make your choice, stop dicking about with the other boys, or with me, or with whoever, you know, it's kind of like, you know, just, just, uh, you know, get on with it. Here's my statement. Check it out, ready? I'm out. No way. I'm out. There you go. I'm up to go out as well. Paul, you're in. Bollocks, I don't believe you. Um, you know what, in a nice way, it's kind of like, who wants to look like a punk and get played? No one. So, I just looked at the boys just then and said, you know what, I'm out. You know, I'm gonna step off and just and watch the uh, chaos ensue. And then Paul was like, well, I'm out. And then Lee was like, well, I'm out. And so then it was kind of like, all right, well, if we're all out, <laughs> who's in? <laughs> if you don't mind. <laughs> I'm a little bit confused about my feelings. I guess I just want to see how things play out, really. <laughs> Good luck, Chris. <laughs> Good night, John Boy. Hey, typical lads there, eh? <laughs> was it so nice to see the boys discussing Colleen's three options there, ignoring the far more likely fourth option that she's not into any <laughs> of you? There Hello. you go, I know. Come on, chaps. It's... So, Lee's out. Yeah. Chris is out. Yeah. Yo, just yeah. chill. Wow. Yo, yo. Wow. Uh, Paul's out. Yeah. I'm confused who's in. It's sort of like a horny hokey cokey. Don't, sort of don't even go there. Just let's hope they don't start shaking it all no. about. Um, but with all that testosterone flying around, it was only a matter of time before it came down to who could keep it up the longest. <sighs> On your marks, get set, go. I'm going to be checking straight out, no, no up like that. Bye. Good, Shane. Come on, boys. Come on, Come on Lee. Lee. I just really, really felt for Lee. Bless him. He's, he's so lovely, and he was so, trying so hard. Is everyone else feeling it? Yeah, I'm yeah, man. It. Lee, don't give up, Sam. Physically, he's he's not as strong as everybody else, and mentally, definitely not as strong as everybody else. <laughs> Come on, boys, you can do it. Stretch him out. I, I just couldn't hold my arms up anymore. That's me done. Shane, just because he's he's just such a lovely on, person, he's like, look, I've had a mile. You know, just so that Lee wasn't the first one out. Beat Shane, which I'm quite happy about, because he's quite a strong guy, Shane, and. We do take it a bit seriously, just for pride, but when you get knocked out, you get knocked out, and that's it. Well done, boys. Good job, guys. You did brilliantly. Well done. I just so happen to be the weakest, that's all. Go! Lee, you're doing brilliantly, sweetheart. Go on, Leo. Oh, Come on, Lee. boys. You're doing good. You can do it. Come on, Lee. Doing really well. Come on, baby. Very good, Lee. Ah, oh, well done. Give it up for Lee. Good job, Lee. On your marks, get set, go. Come on, Chris. Don't give up. I'm shaking. I'm going. No, I'm not. Hey, give it up for Chris, everyone. Guys, you can stop.
This is the final round, ladies and gentlemen. This is where we determine who is the fittest. You will have to hold above your head a bucket of water. Whoever drops it first is out, and the one left is the winner. Come on, boys! Woo! OK, on your marks. You can do it. Get set. Go! Looking good, it's head to head. Oh, they're nearly going! Someone's nearly slipping! Someone's nearly slipping! Who's gonna be the champion? I've been a competitor my whole life, and I know I know how to I know how to compete. Uh, I think I've got a big advantage in terms of that. Push it up! Who's the strongest man here? Who's the strongest man here? Who is the man? No shame in coming <laughs> luck. Oh, 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 the winner! Yes! 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 Come on! The winner! The winner of Long Island Two Endurance Test is Brendan Cole! Dog! I couldn't handle that dog! Even though the treat is a bar of chocolate that we get for winning these games, it's not the chocolate that drives me, it's competing against myself. Obviously, winning is nice. I'm a competitor. It's what I've always done. So I know it comes across a little bit arrogant sometimes and a little bit sort of, I must win, but it's just my makeup. It make, makes me who I am. It's, I'm passionate about what I do. It's pathetic. Yeah. Look, the guns will get you. The guns. Uh, who would have thought it, eh? A ballroom dancer turns out to be the most manly. He's just like a toilet roll, isn't he? You know, so soft, so gentle, yet so strong. He's a love that. Being described uh, as a bog roll. He is. Oh. If I were a woman. Oh. <laughs> lovely. And what about Lee? Bless, oh, bless him. him. Now, he didn't win, but he did get to keep his bucket, and he made a lovely sandcastle on the beach he after. He did. Oh, lovely. And that wasn't the only heartwarming sight on the beach yesterday with the arrival of our new islander. Although, though Paul <laughs> didn't seem that bothered. But just by those two alone. Yeah, Attack systems. All systems go. Oh. It's Big Ben, just in case. Pete. <laughs> well, if it's glamour model. Well, if, it, if it is one, I'd rather Baby, it be. Baby, I'd rather it be one as well. Yeah, you would rather it be, because you know Shane would be interested in one. <laughs> You know, you are. I don't think you will be anyway. You watch my back, I'll watch yours. Do you mind? Yep. Especially... Do you have a jealous side? Oh, I'm terrible. I'm the good. worst. I'm the worst. Come on, man. One, two. Come on, man. Think. I must. I must. I must get this girl. Good. Okay. I've got a funny feeling. She's going to be taken this week. Whoever this new girl is. Come here. Do you most charming, please? Please? Sweetheart. Come on now. All right, let's just think. She's going to come on here. What are we going to do? We're going to just chill out, say, how's it been, what you've been up to? You know what? Best plan of no, action? Don't plan. No plan of action just, at all. Just, just be chill. Cool. Yeah, yeah, totally. It's going to take. Days till anyone gets a sign. <laughs> love you, man. Won't it? <laughs> I'm Emily Scott, and I'm a swimwear model from Australia. The 
public would probably best know me for running around in bikinis. I've heard Sophie's claimed shame, but um, I quite like shaved heads and I quite like tattoos, so <laughs> I have been a woman who gets my man, yeah. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Hello. You've got a new friend to play with. How are you? Yeah, you look beautiful. How are you doing, darling? Yeah, good. Uh, Hey, how are you doing? Emily. Oh, hey, nice Emily. to meet Welcome. you. Thank Welcome. you. Hi. Hi, Emily. Hello. Oh, nice to meet you. How are you doing? Welcome. Very well, thank you. Emily is scrumptious. She's gorgeous. She's lovely. She's cute. She's got lovely eyes. She's got green eyes. They're very nice. Whoa. <laughs> They're nice. Yeah, I'm Hi, Sophie. Sophie. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. Oh, tans. Look at you all. Hello. 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 How are you? Hello. Yeah, I'm Australian. Yes. Hello. Emily, how are you doing? How are you hungry? She's got two tits and a pulse, so she'll uh, she'll do for me. I was talking about cats. That's, That's what, what they were saying. They said it's, it's a lovely... No, no, I'm just a swimwear model. Oh, we've got the models in the corner, then. Oh, look at this. Yeah. It's you all are, lovely. This is the best oh, way to actually. meet. Look, that I just moved over. I just moved over. So this, you, this is beautiful. This yeah, I, I fit so in right here. you're on that side. She's a swimwear model. I've never met her before. I don't know who she... I mean, I don't really know anything about her, but she seems really nice. I'm amazed so, we have met her swimwear cool? shoots. No, I'm in the brand new. I mean, You've just yeah, started? Yeah, I'm about six months old, really. Oh, yeah. oh, I'm about 15 years next I, year. Well, I know. I've, uh, I've, okay. seen, I've seen your stuff. Yeah. Well, don't, don't believe anything. You're infamous. <laughs> don't believe anything you've ever read. I'm actually Promise. a really nice girl. Ask her. I'm sure you are. Bianca's convinced she's not 23, and I was like, well, maybe she isn't, but we all lie about our age. Well, I don't. But... Anyway, welcome. Yes, and thank you. No, thank no, no, no. Oh, yeah, i tell you what. Australian... Women, aren't they? Um, aren't they? Uh, lovely, aren't they? They're so lovely people, outgoing, outgoing friendly, yeah, and beautiful. Yeah, indeed. Yeah. I just figure, you know, don't want to crowd her straight away. No way. Give her a little space. Yeah, absolutely, that's the only way. Uh. <laughs> 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 oh, oh shit. Still to come, Shane comes clean. Yeah, the last thing I want to be doing is, is, is leading someone up the garden path. And Sophie's in tears. Well, now I'm feeling feelings that I didn't even think were possible, and I'm feeling too much. <laughs> Hello, and welcome back to Love Island. So, there's a new girl in the resort, Emily Scott, a blonde Australian swimwear model, arrived yesterday. Yes, blonde Australian swimwear. Mm -hmm. Model, I, I don't think she's going to be that, that popular with the boys, really. No. And definitely not with the girls. And with female insecurity in the resort running at an all-time high, there was only one thing to do. Yes, Fern, lock up all the girls and leave her alone with the lads. <sighs> I feel Dude. quite normal. Oh, God, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> I feel quite normal here. Time, basically. Yes, right, New celebrities. Okay. Emily is okay. As Emily is yeah. new to the resort, she has the opportunity to get to know all the boys individually. Uh, all the boys should go to the beach until called. Uh, it's fantastic. Girls must right. go to the bedroom and stay there for the duration of the activity. I don't think Shane's her type. I think Brandon is. I don't think she's Shane's type. Paul! Yo! Come here a minute, baby. What, honey? Come here a minute. Now, do not let the side down and go and get her. I'm loving you for that. <laughs> Kelly. <laughs> what did you say? Don't let the side down and go and get her. <laughs> <laughs> you little stirrer. Oh, oh, come on. We've got to amuse. <laughs> Listen, it's good for her. She'll get loads of attention. I just want to talk, talk about, about your green eyes. I know, and your blue eyes. And my blue eyes. They're quite similar, actually, except yours are blue and They're mine are They're amazing. Green. I'm trying to sing to you. Oh, okay. so when you Why? arrived here in a helicopter, yeah. I went and put my pink jumper on because I was feeling you. <laughs> Paul's how I expected him to be. Um, very cheeky. Yeah, I think he's cute. Yeah, I think a lot of the boys out there are cute, though. And I didn't know what you'd look like. <laughs> but I'm so happy. Oh, 
Cause you've got green eyes. Did you? And I've got blue eyes. <laughs> and if we had babies, yeah. they'd be so nice. Cause I love what your green eyes. eyes. Up eyes. <laughs> I, I think she's work. really pretty. She's a nice looking girl. Do you, nice think, do you think she's really 23? I think she's nice looking. I think women are allowed to lie about their age. Right, so give me three three words to describe yourself then. Um, outgoing, yeah. naughty. Naughty, <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> and just, yeah, fun loving. Right. There good. we go. So no, she's not young. She's not young. She's got, um, she's got lines on yeah. her. She no, she's older than me. Which is mean. I didn't mean to sound bitchy by saying that, but yeah. I... Just... No, I'm just being honest. She doesn't look... But then again, she's Australian. She's been in the sun all her life, so it could be that. If you look at a woman's neck and at, uh, around that eyes, you can usually tell her age. Um, yeah, I'm 24. Right. This is our eyes, like, I know. Well, I'll ask you the questions then. So, no, you're from a TV it. show? Yeah, I'm from a soap called Hollyoaks yep. in England. Have you heard of it? Yeah, of course. They're like, yeah. home, like home and away, I home suppose. Home and away neighbours, yeah. <laughs> so tell me something else exciting. Time. Uh, what about myself? Yeah, go on. I don't, I, no, I don't know. If, if, if we're, I don't know. I'm not really selling myself, am I? Um, I love it how you went up to him. Right? It was like, look, we've kind of got couples already. We've got Shane and me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. We have our choices. We've got our pecking order. Don't mess it up. We know where we stand with each other. Fit in line. The girls already told me that you're very, very lovely and charming. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. So that's, that's, really? that's the background info. There goes my reputation. Girls. I know. I worked hard you, on that. You were going to do the bad boy thing yeah, too, I was, weren't you? I was going to say, hey, listen, baby. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, she's for, Australian. For I personally, I think she should go for Brendan. Yeah, I think she should go for Brendan or she should go for Chris. Good for Chris Brosnan, Pierce Brosnan. Sorry, it's just. I'm just saying, mm. and that's what I'm worried about. Sorry, Colleen. I'm at. Yeah, I'm, I'm. I just personally, I'm just being honest. I don't, and so I don't think Leo's her type, and I don't think Shane is. So tell me about all these. Well, obviously, that's I quite love a little, my That's quite a little piece of artwork, isn't it? Yes, I probably have about over ooh, 40 odd hours of tattooing. Oh, God. Um, Are you serious? Yeah, every single wow. one of them hurt. Shane's cool. He's got some amazing tattoos there. I got to know a bit more of his personality there, and um, I like his accent. I've only got one little one, my little one's in there. A couple of doves. Or yeah. Sparrow, yeah? yeah? Sparrows or, or dogs? Sparrows. Sparrows, yeah, yeah. They look like a sparrow. Yeah. Okay. And do they hurt? No, not See, really. It's you're about five minutes' I. work, though, babe. You're dominant. Like five you're stronger than I. <laughs> you like to be in control. Uh, oh, yeah. Hey, who's interviewing who here? Come on. <laughs> oh, it's a bit of fun. We're getting to know each other, you know That's what I mean? right. That's right. Okay. Oh, sick. Hi. Oh, baby, no. Oh. <laughs> Fucking show to stay away from bloody London and so I didn't come on to fall for anyone. Oh, come on, baby. Oh, Maybe you should just. Should just yeah, you just got to gotta talk to him. You can't feel like this, babe. I can't talk to him because if he doesn't feel the same way, then I'm screwed. And I'm not crying anymore. I'm fucking sick of it. <laughs> I was quite happy being totally emotionally unavailable. Now I'm feeling these feelings that I didn't even think were possible, and I'm feeling too much. Yeah. Speak we to us. We can let the girls out of their pen. No, we we'll just leave them in there. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go down the beach. Quick. <laughs> Thanks. So, so a warm welcome all round there. Wow. <laughs> uh, and did you see Paul thinking to himself, "Hey, let's start the romance," mm -hmm. and Emily thinking, "Let's start that helicopter again." <laughs> Oh. And Sophie's not happy, is she? No, Although, oh, no. Why she should feel threatened mm. by a gorgeous swimwear model who goes for blokes with shaved heads and tattoos is beyond me. I have oh, no idea. Beyond me as well. Yeah. You know, and, but as the girl safer, you know, she's not all that, is she? No. You know, I, I think she looks about 47. She's well rough. You can always tell by the eyes and, and the neck. She's and, a babe, come oh, on. She is. Eh? She you know, is. What makes you think Sophie's so threatened, eh? I don't know. Probably all the whinging and the crying. <sighs> oh, so petrified of getting rejected. It's my biggest, biggest fear, and, and that's what, and it's the only big fear I have. It's funny, because I said the same thing to him. I said, why didn't you talk about that? <laughs> that's what I mean. What did he say? He said that he wouldn't say anything unless he felt like he was being asked a question. So he's waiting for me to say something? I wouldn't say that. I would just say that. 
Aduh, ini lah kecil, 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 I'm not sure I want to cheapen it by saying it on the show. But wouldn't it help, right? <laughs> if you do it on the show, it's over. Do you know what I mean? You know which way it's going to yeah, swing. but the other thing is, I don't want to feel that the first time we actually acknowledged our feelings for each other was on a reality show. Yeah, but it doesn't need to be like that, does it? It doesn't need to be some big drama. I know he has feelings for me, so if I just phrase it in that way, mm. then there's, he can't, you know, it's not like he's going to say, I don't have feelings for you because I know he cares about me uh, deeply. Because he's so protective over me. Mm. And I don't have anything to lose. At worst, I'll have him as, a, you know, which is okay. a great thing. I'll have him as a really great friend and mm. I can call at any time and we can hang out. And mm. at best, something amazing will come out of it. Exactly. I do not find Sophie attractive, physically attractive. She's a fine, I think she's an amazing girl. Well, Absolutely so amazing. That would be better coming from you if that, if, if, if that's if what she asked me, yeah. Okay, fine. If that's what she wants to ask okay, and cool. if that's what she wants to know, mm -hmm. then I'll, of course I'll say it to her. You know oh, what I mean? Really I think well. she's amazing, but not in the sense of I would like to date or have a relationship with. It's not like that at all. And I don't believe her woman that I, I brought, brought that to her either. Oh. Um, but if she fine. if she's attracted to me, then there's nothing so I can do about it. It's got nothing to do with me, babe. No, totally. Do you know what I mean? It's got totally. nothing to do with me at all. Well, I then just... just let it go as it's going on until the horse wants to know. All right. You know. Thank you, babe. All right. Sorry. I just no, no, no. That's awkward. that's perfectly all right. Thanks. You're right, so. Ooh. Need to talk to you in a minute when you're ready. No, nothing. You know what? It's, it's just about a few comments that were made today around people. And this is something which I kind of feared between me and you, yeah. which is it getting weird. I think you're an amazing girl, and I, and I don't want our friendship to be mm. weirded out by... I guess I'm just coming to a point of where I didn't think at any need two weeks into me and you knowing each yeah. other was there any point for myself or yourself to, to talk about a relationship or anything, because no, it's two I weeks agree. into things. I don't know why anyone's yeah? been talking about okay. it. So I guess I'm trying to... I just want to come and talk to you, so we, we're still cool about each other. No, I'm and, and, you know, we're mates, we're having a laugh, things are good. Firstly, I don't want to know who said whatever. No, 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 you know, it was know. no particular individual, it's just that. a few things that are thrown I'm around. I'm totally chilled with everything how it is right now. And that's how I thought you were. No, totally. And, and I just want to make sure that that doesn't affect myself and yourself, and we can just crack on, be friends, and it's all good, you know what I mean? Totally, Dave. That's all right, and then that's all I need to know. Don't worry about all right, it. All right, darling. Cool. Good stuff. Mm. No, I don't want anything to change how we are. Yeah, no, I absolutely. Like it like it and I did kind of, I feared a little bit today that was, I don't want it to go weird, you know what I mean? Because of other people. Yeah, you know? well, don't worry, they have said they haven't said anything to me, so. No, that's cool. Um, hmm. Yeah, well, maybe it's them who's getting all weirded out. No, it, that, exactly. Uh, and it's, it's other, it's from it's outsiders looking in and, and thinking the what they want to think. Yeah, the yeah. lads, you know No, they've paid a few comments to me in the last couple of days. Yeah. Going, well, you're not interested in us because you're interested in Shane. And I'm like, actually, it's got nothing to do with that. That's, that's we my have a point. connection. I'm yeah. just not interested in you in that way. Yeah. No, oh, listen, no, everything's totally that. cool. Good. This is why I just wanted to carry on the way we are. It's yeah, good yeah. fun. And I just want to get to know you better. Sweet. So. No, that's all right. That's, that's grand. grand. I won't change how we are and how we hang out together for the world. So. Cool. So, yeah, the last thing I want to be doing is, is, is leading someone up the garden path. Uh, I'm not that kind of fella. Never want to do it, you know? It's all cool, baby. Dad, what are we doing? We're through down the table. Just so you're not weird today. I've had my chat with Sophie and stuff. It's done. It's all good. Ain't no, ain't no weirdness. Right? Great. Yeah? I'm happy. Thank you. No, that sound. I mean, to be quite honest, it was what I thought it was. So that's perfectly fine. Cool. Yeah. Great. Not the Wonderful. Window. I'm really glad he pulled me aside and we've had this talk because it means we can just become closer and closer. I just want to be around him. I just want to hear what he has to say. I want to speak to him. I want to be able to talk to him because when we leave here, something could happen, but it's not going to happen right now. 
coming up, Paul's on a mission. I, I think, but I think I've got a quite a good chance. And what's got Lee in a tiz? It's messed everything up because of Sophie's stupid attitude. Welcome back to Love Island. So earlier we heard that Lee, Chris and Paul were discussing which one of them Colleen might have a chance with. Hey, what a lucky girl. Oh, a lucky, lucky oh. lady indeed. <laughs> but sadly for Colleen, with Emily's arrival, it's suddenly down to a two-horse race. And that's because Paul's got his blue eyes on the green-eyed girl from Down Under. <sighs> Little hands, little hands. I know I've got little, little feet eyes. too. Uh -huh. It's a little person. Uh -huh. mm. not, a, not as little as that one. She gets a little she, award. She is. She does get the. That's what they call it. She's got smaller feet than me. Yeah. So. Yeah. What? Yeah. Well, I like small feet. What are you for? Small feet. Four. Four. Well, four foot. Four British. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Emily is wonderful. <laughs> feeling it. Feeling it hard. Oh, the mouth is just so nice, structured. Uh, let's get a drink. I need a drink. Go, go, drink? go, yeah. Yeah, I'll have one with you. I don't know what to drink. Do you want a drink? No, I'm good, thanks, babe. OK. No, I, I think, but I think I've got a quite a good chance, and I like that. Rather than just wondering with Colleen and all that, and, and you know what? I always thought that it wasn't, like, Oh my God, Colleen, Colleen is the one. I never said that. She like her. Yeah. So are you, don't show her yeah. some other dude yeah. who she might be weirded out by. Yeah. So are you. Yeah. As, as a good man, yeah, yeah you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'd be so, I'd be so upset if that. Really? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and you don't need that. For what? So, for a headache. Yeah, try and be strong this week right, then. All right, okay. Well, yeah. Can you stay with me on that? Yes, mate. Of course I will. Yeah, all right. All right, Cheers, bud. Thanks. Yeah, I like right. her a lot. Yeah. Good. All right, thanks. I like her a lot. I love you! I love you! I love you! Do you? Yeah. Oh, wow. It's on. Tell me. I just, I just oh, sat with her just then. I just looked at her lips and her eyes and... You're besotted. Wow, I can see it. I want, I want you to go for Colleen, because I feel... You want me to? You're like, yeah. please them. <laughs> no, Emily. No, like Emily Denan. Just Emily? <laughs> You're already having kids with her, and shit. <laughs> Colleen, she's gorgeous and she's great and she's cute, but it's not enough, is it? You've got to have more than that. You've got to have conversation. You've got to have that kind of whole bond where you can really chat. And I haven't had that with Colleen, and I think already I could have that with Emily. Um, and she's gorgeous, so I really hope that this one works out. Yes, Paul, uh, you and Colleen, uh, a relationship that never really worked out, possibly because it only ever existed in your mind. <laughs> it's not stopped it before, is it, though? No, it hasn't. And really, I'm has guessing it? it won't stop it with Emily Dunan. She's got small feet, he likes small feet. Destiny. Hey, destiny, yeah. yeah. It's got a nice ring to it, but sadly, a name we're as likely to hear is Sophie Lynch. <laughs> However, we are doing everything we can to get our celebs together, even making them share a bed. Oh, they're sharing beds all right, just not the way the lads would like. <sighs> All right, good night, guys. So you're off to bed? Yeah, good night. Good night. Good night. Nice night. one, yeah. Yeah. Good night, Paul. Cheers, good night, Paul. guys. Can you want to for a bit now? No, I'm all right, Lee. Cheers. I'll see you good in bed, night, though. Mm, mm. Really good. What? In the bedroom of Love Island, um, we have Brendan and Kelly. They've got the divider still up, so obviously not much guaning there. Then we've got the single bed. Shane, happy as Larry, pillow. Loves it. And then we move over to um, the newcomer, Emily and Sophie. Sophie and Emily. I think, you know, that is kind of like a Sophie ploy to keep her eye on Emily to make sure that she doesn't stray. Because now Emily's not going to be able to sleep anywhere else because Sophie's got her, her locked down on Emily now. Leo sleeps with Chris. They're quite cool together, even though they're quite big dudes. I'm sharing a bed with a bloke. It's not a good look. It's not a good look. The reason that Leo is doing this is not because he can't get none, yeah? It's not because he doesn't have the minerals. It's because he likes to give girls their space. We've got Bianca and Colleen. They sleep next to each other, but Bianca always has a little sleep with or a little cuddle with Leo first. And then opposite that is the two lovely boys, um, Lee and Paulie. 
he's great. I like to wake up and see him there, and he's a funny boy, and we, we're quite close. I've had to go sleep with Snarr and Paul, which I'm not bothered about because I love it. I mean, you know, I think he's a top bloke and that, and he gives good cuddles as well. <laughs> but not as good as Colleen's cuddles, and I wish that I was still in bed with her, but I can't, because Sophie's messed it all up by not sleeping in the same bed as Shane, you know. Lady Vic had to go in the same bed as her, rather than Chris. So Chris has been in the same bed as Leo, Leo can't sleep in the same bed as Bianca, and now Colleen can't sleep in the same bed as me. So it's messed everything up because of Sophie's stupid attitude. <laughs> How annoying is that? Sophie's stupid attitude is costing Lee his snuggles. Hey, do you think he's had a little drink there, eh? <laughs> uh, when he got here, there was a choice of five gorgeous women, but after two weeks, he's now in bed with Paul Denan. His mum will be proper proud. Won't she just? But there is one way the lads could get a bit of lady action, and that's if you choose them to send them into the love shack. <sighs> I'd absolutely love to go to the love shack with Leo. <laughs> We get along, we have a good time together, and we'll probably be quite rebellious in there. We're, like, really looking forward to actually getting in there. If I could go into the love shack, I'd want to go in with Colleen. You know, the way things were going, we were cuddling and that, and it were all, like, a leg were over mine. I'm, I'm thinking it back of my head. Hey, up that way. You know, you're in here, big time. Now, whether that's because she'd had a shitload to drink, I don't know. We'll get us in that love shack, I'll play her with booze, and then she'll be saying them nice things all over again. I would love to go into the love shack, I love and I would like to go in with Bianca, because not only is she a girl, but we get on. We kind of promised each other that if we went into the love shack, we would try and have as much fun as possible. And that is what Leo is all about, having fun, having a laugh. So at the moment, both Shane and I would love to be, not be under pressure and just chill out in the love shack. It would be a pleasure. Send me in the love shack with Emily. We'd have such a laugh. It would be so romantic. I'd be the ultimate gent. I would kill to go in there with her. It would mean a hell of a lot to me. It really would. Oh, it'd be brilliant to go in there as well. Reassuring words there for Emily. Paul would just kill to be alone with you, eh? Imagine what he'd do for a kiss. Oh, I'd rather not. Uh, but if you want to see Paul's dream and possibly Emily's nightmare come oh, true, dude. it's up to you. The lines are open now. Get voting, because the boy with the most votes goes into the Love Shack live tomorrow. To send Brendan to the Love Shack, call 090-11-3232, followed by 11. For Chris, end with 12. For Lee, just add 13. To see Leo in the shack, put a 14 on the end. If Shane deserves another go, end with 15. Or make Paul's dream come true, 16 for him. Or you can simply text Amy your chosen boy to six treble three four digital viewers press your red buttons now well that's all from patrick and me tonight but we will be back tomorrow to see who is going to head into that love shack will romance blossom i'm wondering who it's going to be eh oh uh, maybe the new girl maybe shane and the new in. girl who knows It'll we will nice see you see. then good night bye We're very young, we'll go on for a date. But not with each other. Because we're both looking for someone to join us. And it could be you. So log on to ITV.com and click on Love Island for more details. Mm -hmm.